All right, guys, we started assembling the batteries now. So you see the legs I was trying to talk about, or I was talking about. And these are the batteries down here and trying to protect them or secure them so that they can be busted if um, they just sit on the bottom or maybe the carpet. It's going to be kind of warmer or heat started generating. So I decided to um, build some kind of legs or feet for them so this is how it looks like okay for the volkswagen e-golf these are the the towers started building them up so if we push this one pull it so now it's gonna there you go so let's erect this tower now here are the rods Stay tuned, like and subscribe. All right guys, this is the distance we've created from the carpet, or from the floor, to the battery. So we have um, enough airflow at the bottom. Trust me guys, it looks beautiful. What do you think? Tell me what you think. And uh, I think it's, it, it looks beautiful. Awesome. Like and subscribe. JW Solo USA. So we're going to continue stacking up the batteries as we go. Like and subscribe. All right, guys, this is how far I've gone. Ran out of wires, and uh, I can't go further till I have to get some wires to do this. So what I did, I'm running this one all in parallel, all the way to the top. So if you see that, all negatives here and all positives here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rest of the batteries on top here. And just secure them and take the entire stack. So what is happening right now is balancing taking place. So all the positives are here and all the negatives are here and trying to get them the same length. Okay, that's a two gauge wire. So I'm going to get them all in parallel and uh, it's going to ba start balancing. Right now it's balancing the batteries. They're all going to be the same voltage same amperage, everything is going to be balanced. So I'm trying to keep all the uh, Volkswagen uh, uh, signs and whatever stickers on the same uh, direction. And you can see here are the legs, the new legs I installed. And you see the, the uh, difference in uh, space underneath. So you can able to rub your finger across you know having more air at the bottom so this is the one who projects but i'm kind of worried right now because i uh, after um i did a measurement of these uh rods to be exactly i don't have enough room left for these so i don't know if they're gonna be all right or else i have to change this bushing to a shorter one but I cannot go buy another rod and start all over. So that means I already ruined the entire um, whatever, how many bucks for that uh, rod. So I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I have to just make sure I use option two. All right. So this is the parallel connection right here at JW Solar USA. And it's late now. Nine, um, 21... 52 which is 9 52 central standard time so i'm calling it i'm calling it a day it's over done all right so let you i will let you guys know back as soon as i get the rest of the material we can continue that will be part four no part five of the video like and subscribe thanks for watching bye for now and stay tuned for more to come live from this channel in minnesota Command Center, JW Solar USA.
well this is how the completion of the pack have to look like when I got these last three batteries there connected to a parallel and I'm gonna come back and do the other side on the negative and uh, we are ready to roll with the new batteries live at JW Solar USA let me show you the work I was doing here the one of purpose of doing this you see these are the legs and this how the batteries were vulnerable if they were sitting on the floor I'm just trying to um, give some set some good examples here or illustrate how things get done when you have batteries that had the bottom like this you don't know the risk by putting these batteries in jeopardy and cause fire or your life or danger endangering your family or your loved ones so take the precaution it's not that hard you know to do the things to do things right it's not easy but you gotta do what is meant for you or safety or for the rest of your family here or if you go to bed at least you can be rest assured that everything is okay so and uh, for the credit for other people watching your work and they feel uh, proud of you and they're so grateful to see someone demonstrate something like this or start something and get it done the way um, they, they were not anticipating that it's gonna happen well you give them uh, something to learn every day as they watch your videos uh, as they follow you along on your journey and you encourage them and sometimes some people don't even see exactly um, the other side but by say oh okay I uh, never thought about it but now I see exactly where this one is going so I can able to take this entire pack you know put it in my shoulder and take it out if I want to guys but it's not easy don't let that fool you. It has a lot of weights here. So if you are not capable of doing this, don't try that at all because you're going to get yourself hurt, hurting. So um, use the safety precaution. Use a dolly. By this way, I've done this. You can put a dolly on the back uh, um, here at the bottom because it's going to hook up all the way down. No injure the batteries or you can put something here like a foam or something so you can puncture any of the cells and just be mindful how you're gonna do it and be watchful for the sides because you already have your parallel connection there I string the batteries or else you're gonna end up knocking out some of these uh, connectors and which you're gonna hurt the batteries from inside unless you have to open it out trying to solder or weld it Okay, so just want to show you what I have done and I'm going to transform the same thing, the old battery here. Yeah, this current battery pack that is running right now, I'm going to do the same thing to it. I have more extension of the, the rods and I can able to put the thing right on the bottom. This plate here belongs to um, a Nissan Leaf that I, um, I dismantled a long time ago. So like I said on my other video, I have to flip these batteries now. So taking these positives from this side and take this entire pack and flip it to attach to here. That will give me the parallel connection. Then I have to chain this wire or maybe wrap it all with a tape, red tape, and mix it complete so you can mistakenly for um, negative connection. Okay, so they'll all be now all 12 volt everything so i wish i have more wires tonight i'll complete the three wire remaining maybe i'll find something tomorrow then i'll complete this pack and try to parallel it it's already the other stack is already mostly parallel and i'm gonna parallel both of them and let it sit for uh maybe a week then i can transition to um the ford focus so this one's gonna be running the show and just turn this switch off here turn that switch off 
for the um, uh, Volkswagen and let this ones run charge this one independently and uh, let this one offline maybe I have to do that tonight or when I have more power but I still have power here we're sitting at uh, 30 volt so we're drawing uh, two amps right now as it's showing but uh, guys um, we want to make sure that we get this thing done the right way you see a 91 percent and it's already 22 26 hours central time here in Minnesota we pull in a 3.8 amps from the batteries BMK okay so we are fine so command center is looking pretty almost getting done and we are ready for business look how clean it is shiny white really cool so I use this paint I got a five gallon of this paint and that's what I use so it's an interior latex flat extra white so this is what I use and I got it from Sherwin Williams good 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 company to do business with so yeah so it's a 427-32 US gallons here so it's 18.8 18.3 liters showing Williams that's what I use so to paint this entire thing because my house color is the same as the uh, the uh, command center so get everything really cool clean looks black contrast looks good plus the white contrast blended correctly and that gives it really fantastic look and I got these guys there and be standby or stay tuned for what is gonna go over there you will see you'll find out soon live from JW Solar USA command center here in Minnesota I still have my boss bars here set them on the corner I'm gonna be try with uh, some ways to hook up this battery but the parallel I'm doing is not gonna work that way because of all the old twisted crooked bent different ways and all crazy stuff and after that we're gonna be finishing up this uh, uh, mini uh, twin mini power bank and we're gonna talk about this sometime later I'm just happy how everything turns out thanks for watching and for your support live and subscribe JW Solar USA in Minnesota bye for now as I'm working towards building this power walls twin tower power walls it's going to be almost a finished production or finished uh, design of this system so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to show you an initial changeover how we change over from the volkswagen e-golf versus the uh ford focus batteries right here so there's a switch on that corner right there the lightning arrestos are sitting underneath there so i'm gonna do a changeover from here disconnecting disengaging this bank to that bank right there but both of them has um breakers so you can see it's a 200 amp breaker right there i have two three strings there it can take about four so you can see the all other uh, spot is open so i can able even able probably take this bank to that but i think it's going to overload the uh the circuit breaker but i want it the way i have it right now so i can able to do the changeover anytime so any by this time if i switch flip this one backwards anti-clockwise then this battery is already disconnected and those ones gonna stay on but we can do that if I flip the switch just to show you the power is still on now 
the Ford Focus already disengaged. So we're gonna turn this back on and it's already engaged. I'm gonna do back here, disengage, and we're still on. If I try to disengage, you could hear something different. There you go, power is going down. So we already know that this guy is already disconnected. There is a switch that tells you. So now we're gonna operate on just the Ford Focus. The changeover is completed. And we are charging. Now we have the batteries disengaged. Here's the command center, that's how it looks like. Pretty shiny, clean, white, with all the work I've done yesterday, repainting the center part here. We're gonna be seeing a surprise that is coming up there. Stay tuned for that. And I just wanna show you how everything is gonna work here at the command center of JW Solo USA. We are doing um, better upgrade and transitioning to the right direction so folks i'm just telling you solo works anyone who is procrastinating or anticipating or denying that solo doesn't work you're all on your own but this is the future and it's not going to go anywhere and we are now having the opportunity to play with it by the time um some people figure it out. There's a lot of uh, regulations going to be in place that makes you not to even have the opportunity to do that anymore. It becomes like the oil company trying to regulate everything. The energy company regulates everything. So now you cannot do it. You have to have a special license. Your DIY wire project is dead. It's gone. Bye-bye. Kaput. So now is the time for you to utilize it. Enjoy it and leave the dream before things change and you're gonna regret it by the time you know it it's gone and you cannot able to mess around with things anymore easily or they will let you <laughs> install all your system for yourself if you watch some of the commercial <laughs> there's a commercial say all my customers they do a diyers and uh they install all the system on their own and people normally say stuff like that. And the power company or other energy company is just going to roll in and do whatever they want to do with your system. They let you come inspecting, blah, 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 after you already done all the work. So, quote, that's how they would say um, all their customers are doing the work for them and they are just coming to inspect and make sure you do the right thing so that they can give you a pass. So I'm telling you, with my uh, uh, Twin Tower DIY lithium battery, lithium ion batteries, yes, it's already done all by myself. And you don't need people to come tell you what to do. And you set up your system. You don't have to sell power back to the grid if you don't want to. It's a choice you're making. You can do whatever you want. If that's what you want, good for you. But now I already change over. And this pack here has been disengaged. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one out. This uh, bolt out. And remove the positive wire because it's already isolated. And remove the negative wire. I think I'll leave the negative wire. All I have to do, yes, I have to remove it. Because I have to bring the other side here of the negative to match with the other ones over there. Okay? So it's going to be one, two, three, four. The fourth module is flipping. So we're going to take it from here. I have to change this wire to be red. Is bothering me. I gotta change that. Remove this. That was the interconnect to um, the series to make it a 24 volt. 
So I'm going to remove this one. So we're going to take from one, two, three, four here. One, two, three, four. We flip in this bank and it's going to attach to here. And we take this wire now, which is the output and tied it up to the second bank that is coming or the bottom and the positive of these going to the top on the other thing. So the banks already have the positive negative out, then I can series them from the back. Okay. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA. If uh, I said anything wrong there, maybe it's just uh um, I've been working on this all night, all day, and I already on it. It's already um, zero uh, ten twenty two Central Time time here in Minnesota. It's a lot of work I'm doing here, but <clears throat> I'm gonna be happy by the time I get done with everything. With all this investment sitting here, is a massive hunk of power. So that's what we're doing here. That's what we're doing there. That's what uh, something is going to be there. So we just have the some load just kicked in. I can hear the, the inverter. You can hear it. All right. Okay, that's the time right there. All right. Thank you so much for watching and for um, being part of my channel. And uh, stay tuned as I'm going to take you to the second tower, the twin tower, power wall, how everything is going right now. Like and subscribe. Bye for now. And because these batteries were two in series, that gives us the 24 volt. You can see the interconnect right there in the center. And you can see this battery on the corner is tied to this one there, and these two on the back tied to each other. So the batteries are rated at 68 amp hours. Okay, so because of that, those two, so 68 times three, three strings of that. So I have to adjust. The power now to 200 amp hours, supposed to be 204. Since the magnum don't round to don't go in, um, it goes with tens in tens. It doesn't go like a two, four, six, eight. So look, if I switch this, so it's gonna go 10 or 20. See that? So that's how it goes in tens. So the four we're gonna forfeit that. Just save that. We stay. We have to drop the amount of amp hours we had. Just this guy here with one of the power walls was a total of 500 amp hours total. 500 amp hours. So we have to drop 300. 300 amp hours down, we have to drop 300 amp hours and we're running at 200 amp hours, which um, would have been 200 and because if I put all these batteries together with the other two sets I was going to use for the, um, the portable generator, the Ryobi, the Ford Focus there, that's another 68, okay? So it's four batteries there, little ones. So it's a 68 amp hours. So if you add a 68 on a 200, 268 plus that four, we just lost four uh, amp hours. 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. That'd be 272 amp hours. All together, just the Ford Focus batteries. Okay. But I uh, eliminate the other little stacks. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's supposed to be on the corner right there. You guys have seen it before. Because all filled up. Of course here it's filled up as well. So that's going to be 200 and 272 amp hours. 
If I would have combined all the power, 272 amp hours, plus, plus this um, 300 amp hours here, that would give us a total of 572 amp hours on a 24 volt. But right now, just this one's gonna be running and I might charge those ones, I think they're charged, and parallel them into this, series them, sorry, so that we can have more power on this side. And we're gonna be using the twin towers to run the 24 volt. And this guy is here is for another application. So it's like whatever application is coming, it's gonna be running on this one here. But I have to add a total of 275 amp hours. <clears throat> Excuse me, going to another system. You have another system here. You know about this. And it's gonna be these guys here, two of them, simultaneously. So it's gonna be full power in the house on anything we wanna power or we can choose, pick and choose which ones we're gonna be running today, summer, spring, winter. So this is the plan. Like and subscribe. JW Solar USA, Twin Towers Reconstruction and Reconfiguration live here in Minnesota Command Center. All right, so this is day two of the install and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do here. So I'm trying to complete all these guys here. What I'm gonna do, I wanna incorporate one of the bus bars from Nissan Leaf. These are Nissan Leaf bus bar. So at the bottom here, I wanna do for the interconnect, that's gonna take the negative to negative. So I can use a heavy wire here to do the, uh, the, the series, okay? I can able to use a heavy wire to do the series. I'm gonna take this wire already created to tie to this battery here. So this is gonna just act for the series connection that takes this one to the next, this side here to the next power wall or to the next uh, twin tower, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. And I wanna implement this in place and we can go from there. Like and subscribe, JW Solar USA, stay tuned. All right, guys, I didn't even show you how I was doing because I can have the camera by myself and I already, uh, with one hand, I already set up this side. It's going to be connecting to the series of the next power wall. It depends how I'm going to arrange them. So this is going to go now and tie it up to the other battery at the top using this one and get the interconnect. I can do that to do the series. So I can use a heavy gauge wire because these are all two gauge wire. So if I'm charging, connect this in series, if I use the same wire to jump over, it's gonna be overheating. I've experienced that before, but the battery bank was huge. Instead of tying another battery bank on it to reduce the power because I was throwing over 100 amps, 100 and something amps into the batteries. So it is, was um, the interconnect was getting warm. But uh, by the time I reduce the amperage which is sharing with another battery bank and it, it, it slow down the, uh, the, 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 the interconnect and it stays cooler. So now I already have this, I can just take a wire like these, for example, um, I can take a heavy gauge wire now and go like this, heavy gauge wire and connect. Okay, let me show you something quick. All right, this will be a good example I can use a number two, AWG, two hot wire, you can see that? Real excellent cable. So I can take this one 
and tie it up here. Okay, and tie it up here with a bolt and nut. And this will go to the next battery bank, which is a, the other power wall. Doing so because if I want to go this way, trying to stick this number two, wire um, uh, log, it's not going to get in there. There's no way. This is the reason why I have to improvise. There's no way it's going to fit. It's too big and this orange uh, side covers is blocking it. And it's not going to get all the way there. No way. So I have to break this ones to go through. So by doing this extension and setting up this one with a bolt and nut into this thing and the power transfer is going to be perfect. I have multiples of them, different styles. This from the Nissan is a copper. These are the uh, the bus bar. This is where the terminal is going to go. But this one cannot go because of the angle at, it, at which it was designed. So if you can see, it's not going to fit in there at all no way and it's designed to sit this way so that you can be able to tie here which is really cool no way and this one as well this one can fit this one can fit in there but the only problem why i'm scared because it's too close to touch the battery um the the side of the battery because of the angle at which it, it was set up for so it's going to be dangerous. I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to be, you know, for safety hazard. So look at this, the difference here. Anything you bump into this, shutting this battery is going to arc something else. If anything touches this one to another side, it's going to arc really bad. So this one is the only one that extends a little bit further and I can able to utilize it. This one can go. Then I can just tie the boss, um, the cable right from this nut. But it's too close. I don't I'm, I don't want it to get in contact with here unless if I put something here like a, a wood or foam like but still I'm not gonna feel comfortable but this one sticks out that looks really good but this one is too close it's really close I don't want this distance from here so approximately approximately uh, I think a one and a half inch see that it's too close I don't want that so I'm not gonna use it so I scrapped that. I'm going to use these guys. All right. Just, this, this is just the update for you guys. And uh, let's stay tuned. I'll give you the rest of the bank all built. Bye for now. Anyway, this is science and technology. So I decided to give it a shot. What the heck. So I decided to give it a shot. And I was like, you know what? Maybe um, this one is sticking out too much. I can use them on other projects that's going to be really useful and this will be great i'll try that with the volkswagen e-golf or the mini tower see if i can get something out of this but anyway i decided to go this way i was afraid to do that but i have more clearance here and it has a little notch right here that holds it not from coming this way not from moving this to the left side so it's not going anywhere it's already so I'm gonna just take this wire now like this and I can throw this big hunk of wire okay grab this and put a nut and there we go we can just have it this way didn't you like my creation that's why you don't throw things away you don't throw things away look at that you have a perfect connection now and this one will this end will go to the next uh power wall and tie there for the series so you just have to re don't forget to mark your wire so it's going to be a negative coming here where it's going to be attaching the other end here is going to be positive you have to put a red tape right here okay or shrink wrap i hit shrink sorry so this way perfect perfect so i'm gonna go that route and i just decided to test it and uh it works and it blends right with the color of the batteries like and subscribe